Swear your oath, Moraine Sedai. I swear to speak no word that is not true. To make no weapon with which one person may kill another. And never to use the one power as a weapon. It's toilet poison. You show up, Lenny's things the next day. They're here for the same reason as I am. For you. For the four of you. Twenty years ago, there was a woman at the White Tower. An Aes Sedai born with eyes so white she couldn't see anything. Yet still she saw glimpses of the turning of the wheel. The Dark One is waking. His whispers are already in the backs of our minds. But there will be one who can stand against him. The dragon has been born again. And it's one of you. You fully lost your mind. <laughs> Moraine. What are those? The Dark One's army. More Trollocs. Three hundred at least. How do they get here so fast? Get the horses. Wait, you can't leave! You're coming with me. The four of you. Your life isn't going to be what you thought. You've lived too long in these mountains, pretending that what happens in the rest of the world won't affect you. We can't just leave. They're after you. They will follow you. And if you stay here, this is where they'll come. They will leave nothing and no one standing, and I can't do anything to stop them. Our only chance is to reach the White Tower and the other sisters of the Aes Sedai. There's no time. We leave now. The wheel of time turns and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. Legend fades to myth, and even myth is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. In one age, called the Third Age by some, a wind rose in the mountains of mist. The wind was not the beginning. There are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning of the Wheel of Time. But it was a beginning. Are you going to kill us like you did that ferryman? What do you know of the three oaths? Uh, they're the promises 
made by the Aes Sedai to end Arta Hawkwing's siege of the White Tower. And what are they? To not kill. To not lie. Exact verbiage. Words are important, and how we use them is important. I don't know. One, to speak no word that is not true. Two, to make no weapon with which one person may kill another. Three, never to use the one power as a weapon, except in the last extreme defense of her life, or the life of her warder, or another Aes Sedai. These oaths are bound by the one power itself. It's not that we do not break them, it's that we cannot break them. I did not kill that ferryman. He wasted his own life on a foolish cause. He was just trying to get to his family. If I had allowed him to take his ferry and cross the river, what would have happened? The Trollocs would have killed him. Yes, and then? Followed us. Exactly. The power inside you is the smallest part of your strength. It's your mind and how you use it that will mean much more in the battles to come. The power inside me? What do you call it? This skill that wisdoms have to predict the weather. They listen to the wind. You see, women all over the world have different names for it. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing for all of us. One thing. One power. And women like you and I, we are lucky enough to be able to touch it. I'm no Aes Sedai. But you could be. Touching the source will come to you whether you want it to or not. Look at the stone. Look at its surface. It's clear and opaque, like the water of a river. Imagine yourself floating in that river. As the water moves, let it take you. No thoughts, just let yourself drift. Clear your mind of everything. There are no woods, there is no hunger, no exhaustion. There is only the stone and the sound of rushing water. Let it take you. Surrender. Let yourself drift. Drift. I thought... I thought I felt something, but... Those first two, those were mine. That last, that was yours and yours alone. You don't listen to the wind, Egwene. It's the wind that listens to you. He may be false, but there are thousands following him. True believers. But you don't believe it, do you? Only Leandrin, Alana, and I are strong enough to shield him from using the One Power. Even then, we have to work in pairs. Can he hear us? Hello to you too. He plugged his ears with waves of air. I heard he conquered half of Gaelden and had the king himself at his back. How did you get to him? A plan after your own heart. We crept into his camp and shielded him as he slept. A little lightning, and his army all ran home to their mothers. Let's hope so. I've set wards. They'll let us know if anyone approaches. And the madness? How far gone is he? He's the same as any man who can channel. Worse, even. He actually proclaimed himself the dragon and tried to march on the tower, and we don't need a trial to meet out the proper punishment. The Amalin seat commanded us to bring him to the tower for trial. She will decide what he deserves. Not us. I've regained enough strength. Let me share the burden. That's more I aim for you. Selfless to a fault. We can't afford any gaps in the shield. Leandrin will wait to drop hers until yours is in place.
You feel it now? That's half his power. How bad is he? Worse than expected. This is the room. Yes, I said, but... Go downstairs. Uh... Do not come up, no matter what you hear. Laneve, you're back already, did you? Maureen, you're alive. Oh, it's nice to see you too. Uh, Gawain, Perrin, are they here? I have watchers. I'll know when they arrive. <sighs> How long has he been like this? A month. Maybe more. It's nothing. It's just a fever. I know what you're doing here. I know what I said I do to men like me. Don't be stupid. I'm not going to let you hurt him! Put that down. Bless his heart. He tries. Stay down. He has some channels. Easy. Matt, tell her! He has some channels! The world doesn't need a dragon like me. What's happening to him? Oh, you stupid boy. You took this from Shadow Lago. Ah! Hold him down! Both of you! Ah! Ah! <laughs> 